Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry. Hello if you are new and thank you for choosing my video to watch today. Today I have been to an Asian supermarket in the West End of Newcastle. I love it there. It's called MA Brothers. So I've got a shopping haul to show you and it is one of those where I had a bit of a list where I sort of knew what I wanted but I wouldn't be exactly sure what they had until I got there. I used to go all the time but now we live about 25 miles away from it so it's a it's a like um a day out <laughs> it's a, i think i left at half past nine this morning or 10 o'clock or something and i didn't get back till after lunch so it takes a little while and i'm browsing and what am i gonna buy what haven't i had for ages so yeah it's fun i've got everything here and i'll show you everything that i bought i spent 105 pounds and that'll do us for ages and ages and ages i normally i used to go loads but now i'll go once a year or once every six months or something it means i can stock up on all the things that i can't get local to us and yeah it's exciting because i've missed some of these things i haven't been for years so uh without further ado here's what i bought at the asian supermarket okay so they don't just sell um, what you would think of as Indian food, what you'd make curries and, and things you eat with. Um, they sell all sorts of different things. I must do a trip to a Chinese supermarket one day because that would be fun as well. But from this one, which I know and I sort of know what they're going to have there, I have bought some lavash bread, which is big, huge slices of really thin Persian flatbread. And it is delicious. They, um, can you see? I don't know if you can see how... How long they are <laughs> absolutely huge and some black cardamom tea I love it I've got tea bags and um, they didn't used to do tea, uh, tea bags uh, I used to always buy it loose and I've got tea bags it's really bitter and I drink it black I love it it's the only tea that I really truly like and I've got some Lebanese flatbreads I'm gonna make some curry so we'll have that with our curry they are really tasty even just to dip in anything hummus or or like um, Lebanese garlic uh, sauce, oh, it's so good. And then Maggi noodles. These are the Maggi masala noodles, they're the Indian ones. I've got 12 packets, <laughs> 50 pence each or 45 pence each because this is the only place that I know of I can get them and then I don't have to go back. I should have just bought a box really. But we make put vegetables in them, you add extra spices, we eat them in a toasty, really, really tasty and they're just like this tiny little bag, little packet. And the masala mix you get with them is really nice. Some lovely fresh green chilies, which I will take the ends off and then put them into some kitchen towels into a sealed container and they'll last for a few weeks in the fridge. Same with the methi or fenugreek. I've got some fresh here so I can do some potatoes with it and I'll, I think I'll take the stalks off. I'm not gonna wash it, I'll wash it when I use it um, because as the water will make it go all soggy and um, this is Kashkabada jam which is Iranian and this is Mizagasemi which is also Iranian this one is a really tomato-y garlic-y aubergine dip and this isn't like an, well or, or a dip or a side and this is also aubergine but this has less garlic and um, oh something just fell over less garlic and tomato in but they're both like an aubergine based a little paneer i last time i tried paneer was years ago and i didn't like it so i've bought a little one that's got a good date on it and i'm going to make a paneer curry and give it a go and then the children pick some biscuits some prince chocolates and some tiger energy biscuits which they'll like and then i'll go do these ones in a moment two rubicons the children wanted some squash a mango less lassie a request from my husband no trip is complete without a mango lassie some pickled grape leaves. These are for making dolme, which is like a Middle Eastern stuffed vine leaves with rice. And some Pearl River uh, soy sauce. So this is like the superior one that they use in Chinese takeaways. So they had some of that, so I just picked that up. I didn't know they were going to sell that one. Another. Maggi tomato ketchup. That's really good for some Indian bits and bobs. Some tomato chilli sauce, like red chilli sauce, and some green chilli sauce. And a great big jar of ginger garlic paste that was only 279 that really big one and they, it's way better quality than buying from the supermarket and not quality value and quality <laughs> it's much better value and then i've got these a great big uh, packet of 20 frozen vegetable samosas which we just need to cook they'll be really tasty and then lots and lots of spices i've got some star anise some cashmere 
chili powder and regular chili powder. I don't know if anybody knows. So obviously these are, this chili powder is produced in Kashmir in this province. Look how red, much more red it is. And I think it might be a little bit spicier as well. The red. So I'll use this for general. And then when a recipe calls for Kashmiri chili powder, I'll use this one because some of mine do. So I use that one specifically. And then we've got a big paprika. A big garlic powder, because I use lots of garlic powder, so I thought I may as well get a big one. And they've all they've all got good dates on them. And some Madras curry powder. Some of the dates are 2023. Some ground coriander. And some haldi, or ground turmeric. Small stuff for the bench. <laughs> some garam masala, big garam masala. A great big bag of uh, cinnamon sticks. And they're great at Christmas and you can make like mould drinks and things with them. And I really struggled during like lockdown and things to get things like cinnamon. So I thought I'd just get a big bag. Amchur powder or mango powder to go in some dals and some curries. Cumin seeds and cumin powder. There we go. Ground cumin. Some hot Caribbean curry powder, which I couldn't get the other week. So I thought I'd pick that up. It doesn't say Jamaican, but I'm sure it'll have the same flavour. It should be better than what I was using anyway. And then lots of lentils to make dal and soups. So I've got some tur dal, some moong dal, and some urid dal, and brown lentils, because I can never find brown lentils anywhere. And then in here, hiding, I've got some moon chilka, and I've got some chapati flour to make some chapatis. And then no trip to, oh, no, we've got some rice, and jaman rice. This is the best rice. It's extra long, and it's just perfect. I'm gonna do a really quick little video of how I cook rice and it's foolproof and it makes the best rice ever. And then a trip to MA Brothers. We have to procure Cheetos. They are delicious. Then normally I get Iranian Cheetos and they're amazing. These are Polish, but I'm hoping they're still gonna taste as good. We've got loads of V numbers in, so hopefully they will. We've got ketchup ones, some spiral ones. And if I just bend down on the floor, We've got some pizza ones, and we've never had those three before, so we'll try them. And then I've got four bags of cheese Cheetos, and you need to eat them with chopsticks because you can have the orangest fingers in the world. I hope they taste as good as the ones we used to get there, but we'll see. They'll still be still be a lovely little treat, and they'll last for ages. They've got about three months on them. I think one of the bags is next year, so... There we go. That's what I picked up in MA Brothers, which is a lovely, lovely supermarket. Everyone's dead nice. And it's lovely. And they've got a great big, massive halal um, meat counter. If you're going in for meat and things, they sell loads of fresh stuff and loads of frozen stuff. They do all the fruits and vegetables of the world that you would never see anywhere else. If I lived closer, I would definitely go and buy more things. And they have massive, great, big, huge onions and all sorts. So... But I didn't need anything like that today, unfortunately. So I've just thought I'd do a big stock up for my cupboards. And this will last me a good fair while to keep me going for all the lovely curries and things that we like to make. So there we go. What unusual, well, not unusual shopping, but it's just different from the regular supermarket, isn't it? Where do you like to go? Do you have like a, a specialist little shop that you like to visit? I'd love to know. Because it's, um, I always find it really exciting to see all the things that you don't just see every day when you go in and buying your bread and your milk down at Asda. <laughs> I think it's fun. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching um, my video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what you can get in case you don't live anywhere near an Asian supermarket or you've never been to one. And yeah, I mean, they do so much more than this. So much. So maybe I'll, I'll find another shop and I'll do another, a different type of haul in a few weeks time and we'll see what we can get from somewhere else. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.